It's sensual, it smells, it's pliable. You can rework it over and over and over. It's, it's just an amazing, wonderful, beautiful material. I am out here in this studio because, because it's enchanting. It's, it's like a cathedral and I'm in here doing what I love best. The work is totally intuitive. I don't do sketches. I don't have a sketch pad where I mark things out or anything. I come into the studio and I have panels that are painted white and the wax is melted and I cover the panels in wax and then I etch on them much like I'm doing now and then cover it with paint and then take the paint off and then dig it up with different tools. So there's a lot of excavating and then putting back and taking out and putting back. So the, the paintings come from, from a long process and there's always this discovery and there's always challenge and there's always a loss. But with the loss you get something back that's bigger. Some of the, the circles and the egg shapes came from something that I didn't even know about that was going on in my body that I only found out a year later. And so these were, were shapes that were manifesting without really being pulled up. The mark making is a language that I started early on. I've always marked like this and, and had this kind of scraffito that appears in my work early on that I've, the wax wrapping around was very important to me because I liked that as you walked up to the painting you could see the edges. So I've just made them deeper and deeper and now they are becoming more sculptural. So it's a little bit of drawing, a little bit of sculpture and a little bit of painting because there's definitely painting that goes on. I started making art when I was around 28 and it was because I was working at the Galveston Art Center. I was the registrar for this this funky little place. And there was a woman that worked there, Paula Clendenin. I would sit in on her classes and then we started going to Houston and going to galleries. And she opened up my world about art. She taught me about looking at paintings. She taught me about abstract expressionist. And it was like this blossoming. All of a sudden I realized that's what I wanted to do. But I started with photography because photography was an easier vehicle than just going into painting or drawing. So it was that. It was being around artists and having somebody really take me to galleries and museums and make me think about it in a different way. And I was sold. I, that was it. I never turned back.